Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum my name is Asan and today we are going to create funnel sale page in wordpress before starting work it's my request please subscribe my channel thank you now back to our work so we are using funnel builder for wordpress by funnel kit plugin so you will install this plugin and activate it and after activation on left side you see funnel kit and then you see multiple option so click on setting first so we are in general setting and then you see default page builder and you see multiple option so you can select according to your requirement and then scroll down you see permalink checkout page sale page opt-in page opt-in confirmation page thank you page so if you want you can change permalinks according to your requirement and then click on save setting and then you see stripe gateway so I activate the plugin already and connect it. Now you see and if you want you can add Google map API key. On left side you see multiple option. Now you see first party tracking. So click on it. We are using free version. Mostly option available on pro version. And then you see pixel tracking. And then you see sales. You can add your custom CSS for sales opt in. Now you see from name, from address, reply to address. So you can add email according to your requirement. And then you see checkout, thank you page. And then you see tools. On left side you see dashboard, so click on it. So this is our dashboard. Also you see templates, so click on it. So we have multiple funnel templates. If you are using pro version plugin, then you have a lot of template. But we are using free version. Now you see pro, so this template available free. Now you see multiple templates and then also you see sale funnels below the template. Also you see elementor block editor dv. So you can select and then you see checkout template you want sale funnels lead funnel. Now we select sale funnel. So we have these template in sale funnel. Also we have some free version template. Now we are going to create funnel sale page. On left side you see funnel so click on it. So we already created sale funnel page. But we are going to create new. Now you see create new funnel so click on it. And then you see multiple option. We are using elemental layout. And we are going to create sale funnel so click on it. And then you can select template according to your requirement. If you want you can start from blank. Now scroll down, we are using this template, so click on preview. So we have sale page, checkout page and thank you page. So this one click upsell template available on pro version plugin. So click on import this funnel. So you can add funnel name. So we are going to add name and then you see step edit sales checkout thank you. So click on done. Now you see sale funnel page created, landing page, checkout page, also in checkout page, you see no product, no order bump, and then you see thank you page. If you want, you can add new step, and then you see multiple option, edit, drop, duplicate, delete. So click on edit. So we are going to rename and also change page URL select. Now add name, also add URL. So this is our new link, copy this and then click on update. Now you see change is saved. If you want, you can delete it, duplicate, draft, edit, but duplicate functionality available on pro version. So we updated page name and URL. So first refresh the page. Now click on preview. So click on it. Now you see link SP, SP mean sale page. So this is our funnel sale page name. If you want to edit this SP, then go to setting. So we are in setting and then you see permalink sale page SP. If you want, you can rename it permalink according to your requirement. Now you see SP and then you see get your mask now. So this is our button. So you can add content according to your requirement. So click on button. So this is our checkout page. 
but on checkout page you see message no product in this checkout page so we are going to add product now back to funnel section so click on main funnel page first we are going to edit it now you see design template also you see setting also we are going to add product in checkout page now you see custom css paste your css code here back to design and then you see edit elementor template so open it so you can edit or add content according to requirement now elementor section open so you can add your logo your title your video so you can rename button link or you can add button name and then you see layout so you can add your content according to requirement also you can edit checkout page and thank you page back to funnel section also you see checkout page now we are going to product add now you see in checkout page you see more option setting optimization also you see product so we are going to add product now you see add a product to checkout so click on add product select product so you can add product name now fetching product so select and then click on add now you see product is added regular price sale price also you see type discount if you want you can add discount according to drop down value and then you see quantity status in stock if you want you can create product from here and if you want you can add more product then click on save now change is saved back to design page also if you want you can edit checkout page now you see add it with elementor template open it back to another thank you page now you see thank you page so click on it in thank you page you see design rules setting in rule section you can add rule according to your requirement but this functionality available in pro version back to design now click on edit elementor template now go to checkout page loading now we are in checkout page so you can add content according to your requirement so this is our contact information shipping method order summary now you see product added so we are using checkout form so click on edit checkout form now you see form adder also you see multiple option so you can do setting for checkout form according to your requirement so this is our widget now go to thank you page loading now you see thank you order detail this is also widget now you see edit order detail customer detail so you can add content according to your requirement in sale funnel page and then click on update so go to sale funnel page again now back now refresh the page now click on get your mask now so we added product in checkout page now you don't see any message here and then scroll down you see stripe checkout because we connected our checkout with stripe payment gateway and then you see order summary order price so you can add more than one product in checkout page so in this way you can create sale funnel page in wordpress and we are using funnel kit builder plugin so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching